All right, let's do this. All right, so I'm going to recap uh, my first day here at Holberton. I'm taking a journal and notes and what I'm doing. And yeah, we'll start this vlog. It's going to be interesting. Um, on Monday, I got in at 7.20, uh, toured around the place. I took videos. I'll probably make a video and upload that sometime. I was the second student here, the only guy that beat me. Uh, we did orientation and intros, we did icebreakers, um, then more orientation. If this ever goes well, and if I could recruit people via social media, dude, they said that, you know, there's no limits to that referral thing, so... That, we'll see, we'll see. If this, if this grows... A uh, useless fact... Uh, during the photo group photo shoot, there's actually a lot of tall people, so the average height of our cohort is probably somewhere around like 5'10 or 5'9. Everyone's quite big. I, I didn't feel tall at all. There's a lot of people my size. We finally started work at what, like at 12 or 1. It, it was just a long day of a lot of talking. Uh, I started off with the C test. It's just a bunch of multiple choice. I overstressed about it, and yeah, it was it was it's no syntax. You don't write code. It's just multiple choice. It's like, do you not know it? Do you know it? And don't don't guess. You get penal penalized if you get it wrong. So just say I don't know. Mm, yeah. And then I took a general knowledge test. That was very easy. It's just so then I took a break, I s chilled in the cube, there's a video going to be me just sitting in there, it's, it could be nicer, it's way too firm, I like it, I like everything soft and squishy, so it's like, it's real rigid and you can't, I don't know, I can't really nap there, I need a blanket, let's see. So our main focus on the first day was Vagrant. Emacs, Vim, and Git. So we started off uh, running an Ubuntu virtual machine and then via Vi Vagrant. Yeah. Uh, my girl's probably gonna read this and she's not gonna understand a lot. Plus, it's extremely messy. First day. Um, so if you ever applied, pretty much what you do the first day is similar to uh, the application. So it's pretty easy. It's just like a lot of rememorizing and yeah, oof, the grader is very, very precise. It typos not accepted, extra lines not accepted, wrong commit messages. Oh my god, not accepted. Commit messages, come on. All right, let's, let's see. So the first project, we created a repo on a command line. We pushed that to Git. We did command line activities. Uh, another project was we could only use Emacs to do a lot of the questions. I don't like Emacs. Next project, Vim only activities. I use Vim now. Um, yeah, I'm only using Vim and I'm choosing it because people on the internet told me to. Joma. <laughs> so the first day, there was a nice little, um, you know, after party. I just use it to eat. I didn't eat all day. I'm here. I don't really eat or bring food. I may have a snack. I brought a peach. I ate a peach today. And yeah, I'm just going to stay here all day. Probably not eat much. It's I'll probably lose some weight, you know, because I can, I can deal with hunger. I've so yeah, uh, basically I was done with all my projects around like 7.30, but I left here at 9.30 because I wanted to do all the extra credit, the advanced stuff. And it just sucks because ma majority of that last two hours, I was stuck on one dumb problem. And then like I looked back and I found there was, there, I did some things wrong. So what I did wrong was I merged the wrong branch and then my commit messages were also wrong. I stayed for so long just because of that. I mean, I got a lot of help from everyone else, but yeah, I created fake merge conflicts to do that part and I tried to redo it all. I tried to reverse engineer, like what is the grader looking for? You know, is everything right? 
but in the end it was my fault but yeah it was just a stupid little mistake there's gonna be so many dumb little things but yeah um after the little dinner party uh there was a trivia night but i didn't partake in it like a lot of the like old mature serious people who are like super duper like they're going hard on this they were like upstairs they kept on working you know i was up there with them too everyone was downstairs yelling having fun talking about like oh my god uh trivia questions like normal like hip young questions and all that and i'm just like hmm why won't this pass the grader <sighs> but yeah, like, I think a lot of people here use Emacs over Vim. I don't know. I like Vim. It's easy to exit. Colon WQ, save that exit out. Emacs, Control X, S, Control X, C, yeah. I could just do a quick colon Q also. I could just delete the whole line with that DD. Yeah, I'm probably going to get here every day between like, 7 to 9 a.m. It depends. I could, I could take the bus here. I could take the BART here. I get dropped off here. It really depends. So I got second day. I got here super early. Uh, I asked a guy to see his GitHub, what I did wrong, like the night before with my um, the actual credit part. And it was dumb. I found that, like, what the hell? I was so, I was so focused on getting it 200%. I was like, nah, forget it. My girlfriend's yelling at me. She's like, come home now. And I was like, I'll settle for the 175% or 173, whatever. And then, you know, I get home really late. It's like 10 or 11. I bust home. Took a video. I like, I took a video at the dark, in the dark. And then I'm like, I also take video on the bar or on the bus. And she's just yelling. It's like, why do you have your phone now? Why aren't you paying attention? It's like, I don't think anyone's going to like mug me. I mean, I don't think they would. It's, I don't think it'd be worth it. I'm a terrible target. Pick on someone like tinier and has more money. Like, sh I'm a student entering a free school. You don't want to mug me. You ain't gonna get sh Alright. Um, today I broke a plate. I haven't said anything yet. I plan to DM the person in charge of the kitchen eventually. Um, or all day today, it's pretty much just uh, shell stuff, you know, just uh, shell scripts and yeah, I worked pretty fast once I understood like how to do it because it was all theoretical. Like I was like wondering like where's my temp files and all that, but like when you run your script, they'll they'll do it all. So then you just have to imagine that it's ready there. So that was the hard part. I was like struggling, like why aren't there files in here? <laughs> But yeah, eventually I passed everything. I did all the greater questions. Mm, yeah. And day two is pretty chill, you know, finish by like four o'clock, stay around a little bit later, try to get that last bonus one. Uh, so yeah, today it's not too bad. The, oh, uh, there was a speaker that came from Docker Con and he spoke a little bit. I don't really understand much, so it all kind of went over my head. But yeah, it's just really nice how they just come in here during the thing and then go back because it's pretty close to downtown. Like honestly, if this vlog ever goes big and someone's like working at LinkedIn or some other building in downtown and they can like swipe me in for free lunch, I would love that. I don't eat. Thank you, if you do, you know, think about it. All right, so, uh, you may be wondering, what am I up to now, Brian? Well, I think the only people that know about what I'm up to is my girlfriend, my sister, and the people that I'm here doing stuff with. Uh, if you don't know, I'm going to try to get into software engineering. I am now a student at Holberton. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, learn full stack, read the C books. I'm also going, I'm also gonna try to do that Udacity, uh, or the Grow with Google scholarship challenge thingy that I'm also in. I don't know if I can finish that nano degree, but 
I mean, it'll be nice just to have it on a resume, you know, have some little React skills in front end, but I'm really, I'm really focused on getting that software engineering. I don't, I don't know, web dev versus software engineer. So, um, so what am I doing now? I'm downtown mission every day, every morning till early evening, late night. Um, I'm probably gonna bring some slippers and change of clothes. I'm probably gonna go up to the 24 and shower there once in a while. Like, like it gets hot upstairs with all the computers running, everyone upstairs, you know, heat rises. Uh, it, I do get a little sweaty. I'm a big boy. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to get into tech. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. I feel like I'm a horrible vlogger. I'm monotone. I'm very chill. I'm not super hyper. I'm not super excited. I don't, I'm not like, I'm not like, hey y'all, what's poppin'? Or like, hey, what up fam? Mm. But yeah, it's just me. I'm in a room alone in my school. I'm probably going to be in a telephone booth next time. I need like a phone stand, you know, because right now I'm resting it on a rocking chair and yeah, like I can move it with my legs. So it's on a rocking chair. I got this painting behind me. I have no idea what this is, but it's plugged in and I've got a USB port. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to try to, oh yeah, and this, this is like my first time like seriously using Macs. Like I've never really owned one or had one. So this is, I'm working slower because it's just like, you know, I'm I'm a complete Windows freak. I'll do whatever so fast in Windows I got that down. That's what I'm up to now. Uh quit wow, no more rating. I mean I already finished uh at the hardest content. So, you know, after that I did a little bit more, quit that, I'm gonna try to try to move my career on forward. Flex. Uh I been going to the gym too, but you know, after starting this, I don't think I can um, frequently. We'll see. I read reviews that the 24 nearby is kind of nasty and dirty. That kind of off puts me because I get the nice suburb ones I used to go to. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, I need to find ways to improve this. I'll probably be in different rooms. Peace. Time to go work on more stuff. Ka Bam. Booty pop. Booty pop. Booty pop. Bam. End of day two.